nosso... This guitar was in the back of the car all night, so when you change in the weather and the cold and the warm, sometimes it doesn't sound very good. I want to tell you about this story, or a story about this song. It's called, It's a Great Day Coming. From time to time, I've been invited to uh, preach in different churches and also have special music. And I don't know why they ask me to come back, because I can howl okay, you know, get by and make holler out a few notes, but uh, they keep me coming back and bless their hearts. And God has blessed me as well. But um, I was singing in a church called Roosevelt, New York. It's uh, listed on the Adventist Historical Society. Alan and uh, James White and Ira Metzen built that little church. And it's not far from where we live in Fulton, New York, if you look at your map. And there's a graveyard across the street from this church. It's out in the country where Ira Metzen is buried. And I don't know if you know the story of Ira Metzen. Who, who knows? Not too many. Well, maybe someday I'll, when I'm up front, I'll uh, tell you that story. But uh, he's the one that looked up after the great disappointment. Jesus didn't come. And the Lord revealed to him that Jesus made the move from where? The most holy. The most holy. To the most holy. Amen. Well, I'm singing in this church one morning, and afterwards, um, and after the service, a little lady called Pearl Everhart, which worked for the New York Conference. And she's a, kind of the patriarch of the New York Conference. She's an elder lady. She came up to me and she handed me this piece of paper. She said, this is a poem that I wrote. What do you think about it? When I looked at that poem, and I, I was very touched. It's a hope of Jesus coming. And I said, you know, there's a song in this poem. I think that I'd like to look it over. Well. As I was struggling with the poem, my lovely bride, my wife, Yvonne, she put this together in three verses. And I did sing this song again the next time I was invited, and Pearl was in the audience. She had tears in her eyes. After I sing this song, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. It's a great day coming by and by when God's saints will be gathered in the sky. The Savior will welcome them with mansions prepared by Him. There's a great day Sing hallelujah to our King, and we'll praise His name forever as we sing. He made that great sacrifice that we may be free from sin. There's a great day coming. our God face to face. There's a great day coming by and by. We'll meet at the throne of grace and 
and see our God face to face. There's a great day coming by and by. Amen. When Pearl, she was on her last, she was in intensive care of Carl serving in Memorial Hospital. Her daughter called me and said she'd like to hear this song. So my wife and I rushed up with a guitar in intensive care. And she lay there and she couldn't seem to get conscious, but she could hear. And I sang this song. The tears coming outside of her eyes, trying to sing with me. That was her last song she heard. That beautiful poem. At her memorial service, I was asked again to sing. And I was privileged to get to know this lady. My cousin married her daughter. She was an awesome lady. May God add a blessing to his word today. Amen. Amen.